Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel for this golden glowy makeup tutorial. I created this look over the holidays and I've worn it so many times ever since. It's an easy evening look perfect for a night out using some of my favorite gold products. So I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Now let's get started. Beginning with the Guerlain Lore Radiance Primer, I'm going to prep my skin. This primer is a lightweight gel with visible gold flecks that break up when you rub it together and smooth it over your face. It fills in fine lines and pores, creating a perfectly smooth canvas for foundation. And I always end by pressing it into the skin. One small pump is all you need, and it makes your foundation last longer and look better while giving radiance. Next, I'm going to prep my eyelids using my Chanel concealer. I like to save my eyeshadow base for those occasions when I'm using a loose pigment or perhaps a sparkly eyeshadow. The concealer is a quick way to even out eyelids and create a thin foundation for eyeshadow. Colors look more vibrant and true, and the shadows last longer. Starting with eyes, I'm using my Guerlain Terracotta Light Bronzer on a fluffy brush as my transition shade in the crease. I'm just swirling it around to blend it inside and out, building up the color until it's reached a medium intensity. I'm using my E35 blending brush from Sigma. I'm going to bring you in closer now to see this next part. And this is optional, but I am using my Lancome Ombre Hypno Stilo in Mono Gold, and I'm going to apply it directly to my lower lid. It has a really thick texture, so I'm only using a very small amount and then blending it out with my fingers just by tapping. Since it's a cream, it will remain tacky so that the eyeshadow I apply on top will look more intense. I'm using the Copper Cuivre Le May Single Eyeshadow from the Chanel Holiday Collection. Using a flat shader brush, I'm sweeping this all over my lid, up to the crease and not above it. When I get to the outer V, I'm going to extend out just a little bit to create a cat eye effect. I'm just sort of overdrawing and exaggerating that outer crease. And when the copper eyeshadow looks completely opaque across the lid, I'm going to quickly take my blending brush and soften the edges. To add dimension, I'm using a compact brush and the Noir Le May eyeshadow from Chanel, and I'm stippling and just building up the color in the outer corner. I'm blending inward and down just a little bit, but really concentrating that shadow directly on the outer V. And then of course, I'm going to go over everything again with my fluffy brush. These eyes are really easy with just two main eyeshadows, and now I'm going to sweep away and clean the fallout from my cheeks. There really wasn't much, but I'm going to use makeup remover on a cotton pad to create a sharp angle up towards my temples on both sides. For foundation, I'm using the new Dior Forever Skin Glow, and I'm mixing in my Soleil Tan de Chanel Liquid Illuminator in Sunkist. I have a full review of this foundation already posted, so I'll link it down below in the description box in case you're interested. I love this combination because it's radiant, hydrating, and gives me the coverage that I need, but it stays soft and lasts beautifully all day long. It's become one of my favorite foundations. I'm using my flat top kabuki brush to evenly buff this mixture all over my face and I just use the back of my hand to mix the foundation with the liquid illuminator. My dewy skin trick is to include the liquid illuminator in my concealer as well. So I'm going to take my Chanel corrector and mix in a small amount of that Soleil Tan de Chanel. I'm going to apply this under my eyes with my fingers, and I'm also going to use this to highlight the bridge of my nose, center of my forehead, and chin. And then I'm going to blend it all out with my Sigma Tapered Kabuki Brush per usual. The absolute best brush for blending out your concealer. It's so fast.
Now to set my face, I'm using a Lancome Absolute Powder, and typically I use my Absolute Pesh, but since I want it to be glowy and golden, I'm using Absolute Golden. This is one of my favorite glowy powders. It's finely milled, it never looks powdery or cakey, it keeps your foundation looking like dewy, healthy, natural skin, but it does set like a powder. So I'm applying this with a giant tapered powder brush, and then to warm up my complexion, I'm using my Soleil Tan de Chanel Cream Bronzer. I'm applying this with my angled Kabuki brush from Sigma. It's so creamy and emollient, it's very easy to blend, even after I've already set my face with powder. It never breaks up the foundation, so I'm just stippling this in all of the usual places, along my cheeks, the temples, hairline, chin, and jawline, until it's perfectly blended. My go-to blush for a bronze look is Jersey from Chanel. It gives a soft wash of color, but it isn't too pink. It's perfect for this monochromatic gold makeup look. I'm dusting this over the apples of my cheeks and blending up towards my temples. To highlight my cheeks, I'm using the Lion de Chanel Holiday Highlighter. And yes, my skin is already very radiant, but this look is meant to be extra glowy. Something to keep in mind, I have five bright lights shining directly on my face. In normal lighting, it doesn't look quite as glowy. I've worn this look to date nights, dinner parties, and work, and I never felt like it was overdone, but to each their own. I'm also highlighting my brow bones and inner corners of my eyes with the same highlighter. On a precision brush, I'm running that copper eyeshadow underneath my lower lash line, all of the way in, out, connecting to that eyeshadow on the top outer corner. Now this next part is also optional. I'm using my Electrum LeMay eyeshadow to add a pop just to the center of the lid, and then I'm going to match it down below on the lower lash line as well. This creates a little bit more depth and makes the eyes appear more vibrant and twinkly. I'm also going to throw on some gold eyeliner to the waterline. This one is from Lancome, I believe it was limited edition, but I'm gonna find something similar and I will link that down below because it really does just pull the whole look together. And next I'm just lining my top lash line with my black liquid eyeliner and then I'm filling in my eyebrows with two pencils. In the inner brow I use my Chanel Source Seal in number 30 and then I finish the center and the tail of my brow with a powder pencil from Dior which has quickly become one of my favorite brow products. Since gold is today's theme, I'm coating my lashes with YSL Baby Doll Mascara and then for lips I have three products. First, I'm lining my lips with a nude lip liner from Lancome, and I'm filling in the outer corners to create that full, larger, pouty center. And then I'm using my Dior Liquid Lipstick 427 Delicate Satin. This is the perfect natural nude, which you know if you watched my favorite nude lipsticks video. To top that off, I'm going to add a little liquid bronze lip gloss from Chanel directly to the center, and that completes the look. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this golden glowy makeup tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or questions down below and be sure to tag me on social media if you recreate this look. Of course, I've linked all of these products down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.